Hello everyone, today I am here with my channel Pioneer Tutorial and I am going to discuss a very important topic of power system that is called Ferranti effect. Here Ferranti effect is one of the most discussed and asked topics in our uh, gate exam or different kind of competitive exams. In your semesters also this question can come, what is Ferranti effect? And this phenomena is very interesting to know about and you will be understanding different effects of different parameters on the transmission lines and how they affect the total voltage and current levels okay then we are just starting it okay now uh, whenever we are calling it to be a ferrant effect of transmission lines we need to be understanding transmission lines and i will be dealing this kind of topic in my later videos also but now for this case we need to consider the long transmission line why it is called long transmission line because in case of long transmission line the lengths are pretty long enough that is around above 200 kilometers okay and the voltage level is also very high that is high tension line that we can say in case of long transmission lines what happens we cannot go or we cannot analyze the line with the help of lumped parameters means what the total parameter or the resistance inductance these things cannot be considered to be concentrated on a single point we have to consider the total distributed parameter means what inductance capacitance inductance capacitance they are being distributed throughout the line means what the picture will look like somewhat like this that is this inductance resistance capacitance again this inductance resistance capacitance means throughout the line this small sections will be distributed okay the thing is that whenever we are dealing with ferranti effect we need to be having some considerations for which this effect valid effect is valid the thing is that the considerations that to be taken considered of that is uh, first one is the line should be lightly loaded or unloaded condition the line should be in lightly loaded or unloaded condition why because for this effect to be effective we need the charging current to play the role for that reason we need this kind of phenomena and the inductance and capacitance those parameters will be profoundly having some effect on this what it will happen if load current is very minimum then charging current will come into play then uh, we can say that if uh, in case of long transmission lines capacitances are of a predominant value means capacitances are large enough to be have some effect on the line parameters now as we can see if we can just consider a small section of the line then the resistance the inductance and say the capacitive part is present this is the line parameters means what this is the sending end voltage and this is the receiving end voltage but in between them there is nothing else and the, there is no load connected there is no load connected here now the only thing is that the charging current is flowing through this circuit this charging current will give some drop and we can say that inductive drop will be very less because the charging current that is present that will be there for the capacitive effect because the capacity predominance now we know that if the capacitance part is more active here then the current will be phase shifted from the voltage around that will be around 90 degree and as we have this section of the uh, transmission line then we can draw the phasor diagram like this this is my reference voltage that is vr and as this ic is present across this and this capacitance we can consider that the voltage of this vr is actually across this capacitor then what we can say we can say that this ic is here the 90 degree part sorry the 90 degree apart okay this is my ic this is 90 degree now if i want to get the voltage drops on this and this so this will be ir that is ic into r this will be the resistive voltage drop and another voltage drop across this l will be say 90 degree leading voltage drop that will be ic into xl that will be a j term here that is the 90 degree phase shift is there and this summation will give us the net 
voltage of the sending end. So this voltage is the resultant of these two combinations that is Vs can be written as Vr plus IC into R plus J IC into XL. But the thing is that this Vs magnitude is lesser because of the current's shift. This is the phenomena that Ferranti has been described that is the sending end voltage becomes less around 5% to 10% it varies it becomes less than the receiving end voltage with respect to the current the charging current present in the circuit and this can happen in most of the cases for the long transmission line as you have understood this then this phenomena if it is there it is predominantly valid for the different uh, loads that is capacitive in nature also you can see that whenever an uh, synchronous machine or that synchronous motor is being loaded to a capacitive part we can have this kind of phenomena we can see that the receiving end voltage or the terminal voltage is actually larger than the sending end voltage or the source voltage okay for today this is it this is this was my topic actually for today now for the next video i will be discussing you about this kind of phenomenal effects of the transmission lines thank you for watching this video if you like the video then please subscribe the channel i will be in touch with you guys thank you